Can you record? It says I am, so I think it's working. Okay, then then you. Hey, hey guys, since I'm the the one funding this thing, I'm going to bow out and not to compete and not uh, bias it. So, do we have enough people participating without me? Well, we, like we, we do. Maybe we do. you just need to vote, right? You'll still vote, won't you? I, I, don't, want to buy, okay. I don't want to bias. I don't want to bias the still, outcome because we I'm still do. The funds. We have exactly so. sixty four. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you and I, Dan, as the as the host of all the evening. Right. Uh, so I'm all looking right. forward to seeing all the recorded footage and seeing how this goes. I'm uh, you all who get to participate and see what this is like. Um, but yes, yeah, since I'm since I'm funding it, I don't want to participate uh, in this competition. Okay. Uh, Do you want to just be a volunteer support staff and observe? I could assign you that um, way, and you just observe and don't say a word. I'll yeah, I'll I'll observe in in various okay. ways. Um, okay, great. But yeah, I want I want to say thank you everyone for showing up and participating in this experiment. Thank you, Dom, for organizing it, and uh, you know, may the best candidate win. Yeah, thank you, Dan. Thank you all. And I just wanted to say uh, it's amazing, you know, people thank me, but I thank all of you guys because the most important thing we need uh, to get something accomplished like this is hope. Um, and it's it, it takes courage to have hope. So enough words. I am going to send everybody to the breakout rooms now. You will be recalled in exactly 50 minutes. Uh, that is automated. I've set that for sure. Um, and then when you come back out, you head to the Telegram and you vote. Um, volunteer support staff um it's going to be hard to put you in various rooms uh, because we did not go over 64 and so i'm just gonna have to randomize you um uh in each room there should be at least one person recording it but um unfortunately i don't think i'm gonna be able to like put you guys in rooms specifically so it is what it is but if you're in a room just follow the protocol if there's two of you in the same room just kind of you know talk and and, and one person handle it okay here we go. I'll request uh, permission to record. Uh, also that's here's man one. one. All right. Who's left, uh, you guys? Uh, Todd Slosser as well, please. Yeah. Let me get that before we go. So, who is it? It's not. Uh, something that I did not read in the instructions is um, so, it, is, are people allowed to vote for themselves? Uh, yes, you know, must you know, actually. You must, because we don't want people to get pushed in if they didn't want to be elected. Right, a force election. We don't want that. So if you don't vote for yourself, then you can't be forced. Why is the list move every time somebody does something it's so annoying? I'm trying to find you guys. Where are you, Earthman? There you are. Okay. Uh, was it Mark? Were you the other one? Yeah, Earthman, good to go. Thank you. Okay. Is that everybody? Um, and then ask Todd Schlosser, please. Todd Schlosser. Yeah. Zach, uh, would you be able to turn on your camera? Zach? Yeah, everybody has to have their camera on at all times, please. Okay, Dominic, can you give me the permission? Yes. I can't update my name. Did you put the R? I, it's okay. It's okay. I changed yeah. it, but somehow it's not updating. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, that happened for me as well. You. Okay. <sighs> Myra, you already tried right clicking and the right by your name and the drop down. Does the drop down show up? Sorry, can you repeat? If you right click where your name is, does a drop down show up? that shows uh, a rename option? Yeah, I went to the website to change. Uh, and There's actually uh, like three dots in the upper right corner when you hover over your face. Yeah. Then you that. click that and then it allows you to rename. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I've gotten most everybody. Um, if you didn't, again, you will not be disqualified. Okay, so, but we gotta go. Um, good luck. Everybody have a good time.
No, I don't want this. This was really easy last time. Oh my god. It's always easy during practice. Exactly. As they say in theaters, you know, if a general rehearsal is crashing, that's a good sign for the real event. Looks like we just dropped to 64 participants here. I know. Sixty-four is a perfect number. Well, but Dom isn't uh, going to be in a breakout, so it's actually. Oh, 64. there we go. Jesus, there we go. Okay, thanks. Oh, yeah. gotcha. It's just going to happen. Um, I, I'm not in the room that has three. It's just going to have to reach total consensus. Makes sense. Uh, so awesome. I'll have to do it for this one. Okay. So you guys, blood sport. All right. Good luck. I finally did it. I just slowly get moved into rooms. Hello. Hello there. And it's telling me I'm one of the uh, support staff here. It's telling me that I've got to get permission to record, surprisingly. Uh, who's currently yeah. recording? I'm, I'm recording also. Okay, so it is allowing you to record. Great, give me just a moment. So the chat continues uh, the same. I we don't know, history. but we'll find out. We have history of the old uh, from the chat from the main window. So, yeah, I see that. Okay. Is it just us? Are we the only? Are we the one with only three, three people? <laughs> well, technically, we have four people here. I'm, uh, you know, because uh, uh, even though I'm a, a volunteer i could run if i want to so and i get to vote so i get to participate just as anybody else here um let me click ask for help you can invite the host to this breakout room for assistance how are you doing okay. max you okay hi what's going on guys hey dom can you uh give me permission to record hi. for some reason that didn't stick apparently We've got one oh God! Is that going to happen to everybody when they hit the rooms? I don't know. Just happen to you. Because you have uh, problems. No, it's just you. Seth here. Yeah, Seth here is recording. Um, yeah, I'm recording. Here, I can also record that for a All right. Thank That's you. That's good. Um, Carry on. I love this yeah. though. I can just appear like the wizard. Yeah, it's quite nice actually. All right, I am recording. Thanks, Tom. All right, so how's everybody doing today? Good to see you guys. Uh, wonderful. It's an interesting experiment, I think. It really is. Uh, it's an exciting one that I think, um, you know, while Eden is uh, hopefully going to revolutionize EOS, uh, it can revolutionize the world. That's what I'm in it for. Um, great. Well, uh, it looks like we need to go around the room and we're going to state our telegram names. Of course, we should have our telegram names uh, on our, our video as well. And we'll declare our intention to run for the uh, representative position or not. So let's start with Noyo. Noaro? No. So you're not running? Just voting? No. 
Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, Seth? Uh, I'm running. All right. And it's I underscore Seth for Telegram, correct? Yes, I underscore Seth, yeah. Wonderful. And Max? Yep. All right. And uh, my name, of course, is Brandon Fancher. It's my Telegram name. And I will not be running. I will simply be participating in voting. All right, so we've got two people running and two people simply uh, participating. So uh, the next phase here is candidate introductions of two minutes or less. Uh, so uh, we will have, yeah, just a very quick moment to uh, introduce ourselves. Uh, in this phase, we want to uh, primarily, primarily address three concepts. Uh, why do you want to be elected? What do you believe about the project that allows you to uh, allows you the opportunity to create value? How will you execute successfully? What qualifies you to do the job at hand? And what specifically do you plan to allocate your funding to? So let's start with Seth. Um, hi guys, uh, I've been in uh, USIO since August 2019. I've been I part of quite a few projects at the moment, uh, mainly Boyd, uh, Blockbase, and Uplift. And I would like to support EOS Power Up IO, which is uh, a project which was created by uh, John Heater, most of all, but uh, also a big part with the uh, Boyd team. Uh, we would like to expand on the uh, existing a platform which supplies free power up to every EOS account, uh, whoever wants it. And it's got this special management feature for uh, like any EOS account. And we would like to expand on additional options like a Telegram bot and, and some, um, we're probably gonna do like a referendum, which options first to uh, implement. Uh, but in general, like that's that's what we want to do to to use those funds to actually improve the existing uh, service that is supplied for the whole community already. And that's it. All right, very good. Uh, over to Max. Hi, hi everybody. I'm uh, I'm leaving South Korea, and uh, I participate in. Uh, EOSIO, ICO, and and I'm and and four years uh, participate in EOS community in Korea, and I'm building I'm building a bigger protocol project, uh, Genesis Custodia, and I'm still in main uh, custodia participate in smart contract, uh, proposal, MC proposal, and other Korean, all of people uh, reach out EOS, 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 IO, EOS uh, project. And uh, yeah, all of EOS IO project. Uh, uh, I have a long time in participating in EOS project and EOS I community people reach out other or that. Sorry, I'm poor English. <laughs> no, no problem. That's wonderful. Yeah. Great. Um, so we had introductions here. This is moving uh, quite quickly. We had, uh, looks like 24 minutes allotted to uh, two minute introductions but we'll move on to the next phase here. So uh, the next phase is an open discussion uh, until the election round closes at, uh, at 1450 UTC. So this is a time for everyone to ask questions of the candidates. Uh, this is the only time period each group has available to come to group consensus on who will be elected to represent the group in the next election round. And if the group is unable to reach consensus during this time period, then we will not be sending a representative to the next election round. Uh, the intention of this provision is to encourage the group to come to a good enough choice to represent the group. 
Rather than stress about making the perfect choice, we trust that our community starts with a fairly robust vetting process to become a member. So we shouldn't have to concern ourselves with the possibility of electing an absolutely terrible representative. All right. What is your, what is your, your name behind your telegram name? It's Noiro. It's Noiro, okay. Noir, Noir. okay. Well, uh, yeah, why don't you kick it off? Do you have any questions for the candidates? So um, our first question is for Seth, can you just go over like in ba basis, basically what the, these things are that you do? So like block base, Boyd, Animus, Uplift. I mean, it, it, are you, do you see yourself more as a, a technical designer or it, are you in this Eden election thing just for this process or the grand, you know, it, it wants to go a lot further, doesn't it? So are you just in for this test phase or the whole, the whole are you going whole hog? Uh, no, because uh, the, the thing is that um, like EOS in general for quite a few months has been seen as this, uh, like a really bad idea <laughs> in crypto uh, because of the, uh, like what, what happened with uh, B1 and not, uh, not enough investment and so on. But I'm one of those people who actually believe in the EOSIO, in the technology. And I think it's, uh, it, it's really wonderful and it's got great future because there's, there's many things which can be built and they are built on EOSIO and they cannot be built on things like ETH and even any ETH, uh, you know, like uh, forks. Um, mm. Like for example, uh, like Max, uh, I've been part of Vigor also for some time, but uh, Max has been a, a huge supporter of Vigor since the beginning. And Vigor wouldn't be possible if it wasn't EOSIO technology. So for me, uh, like EOSIO is the future and I can see that um, like we can build applications for it. We will definitely go uh, like multi-chain. So we've got, uh, for example, we actually, uh, so Boyd has got uh, a partnership with uh, um, this uh, block producer on Telos uh, that we're gonna, we actually have funds from Telos from the worker proposal. And we're gonna be improving on the existing Telos IBC to connect Telos and EOS together. Uh, there's already a bridge, but uh, what we're actually going to be working on is to uh, support uh, contract actions, like if, if you're interested in that, which will actually allow to call, for example, if you do something, if you if you call an action on EOS, uh, something can happen on Telos, for example. So so this is like a beginning of, uh, of a proper multi-chain solution. So you could potentially have your application based on many chains. And this is possible because of your sale technology. So um, that's just like one thing which been, uh, we've been working on. I don't know if you know Boyd, but uh, Boyd is a, like a distributed computer that everyone can uh, be part of and help with scientific research, like cancer research. And recently uh, there's an open pandemics project which supports uh, uh, viruses research. And uh, Blockbase, that's one, uh, like I'm actually part of the DAC on Blockbase and that's another wonderful technology we have, which has been funded by uh, European Union partially and also uh, a corporation in Portugal called AGAP. Uh, and it's, it also uh, allows to scale EOSIO where the RAM cost is, is actually quite high to run an application fully on, uh, on the blockchain, but because of the block base uh, technology, you can run everything that potentially would be stored in RAM on EOS. You could store it on a uh, block base on the side chain. That's, that's how they call it. And, and that can allow to scale. You can build huge applications because of that. And we, uh, block base has been uh, developing um, a game with Boyd. Uh, which is actually going to be almost fully based on uh, on EOS and on block based side, side chain. So that that's the most uh, where the most data will be stored. Um, so it's been going on for a couple of months now. Uh, so that's just like a few things that I'm being working on. If that answers your question. Does 
um, sort of, but like then same question to Max, like what are you actually working on? Me? Yeah, so like, I, I don't know what, you know, all these particular projects that he referred to, I'd heard of them, but I didn't know what they actually did. So what are you doing? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, can you hear, uh, hear about figure? Uh, figure is a uh, uh, bigger protocol is uh, stable stable coin project uh, upgrade version. Uh, so bigger uh, called is bigger called low build low build token. So bigger is uh, the utility token, which is uh, which is used uh, governance token and P token and reserve asset and provides access to the platform and features including a crypto, uh, crypto credit score token. And I participate in uh, uh, initial, initial uh, Genesis uh, members and other people and BPs and five BPs, uh, five BPs, uh, distributed in uh, key secure, uh, MC key secure and part, uh, five VPs uh, uh, currency uh, key, key uh, uh, MC key, key uh, settings and, and, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, other question. Max, uh, the, the second thing you were talking about, the MSIG, what is that called that you're working on? Yeah, uh, uh, I'm a quickly MSIG proposal and MSIG proposal, create MSIG proposal and uh, other, other actions and uh, smart contract MSIG proposal, uh, I'm very well. All right, got it. Yeah. And what is your role, Max, on the on the bigger project? Uh, bigger uh, role, uh, 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 Singapore, Singapore, and uh, a uh, legal, uh, legal, and USA and Singapore. Two two roles. No, but what, what is your position with Vigor? Did you, uh, are you a founding member of the Vigor protocol or how, how are you contributing to the Vigor protocol? Uh, all over parts, all over parts and uh, smart contract and community building and marketing and uh, not code. I'm not code, but uh, all of them participate in projects. Great. Yeah. And then I want to have a question for Seth. Um, how are your efforts? Okay, let's talk about, uh, let me scope this down to, to EOS powerup.io. So you're talking about uh, using, using the, uh, uh, funding from this election for EOS Power Up that I owe. Um, how is that project currently funded, and how well is it currently funded? Uh, it's being funded by us, so there's no external funding. Um, it's only like sometimes uh, people donate some tokens in, uh, which are actually used for um, to pay for those free uh, power ups that are given to users. Um, and that's about it, right? So, so the money uh, would be used to actually pay for our time for the future development because we're kind of part of many other projects and <clears throat> it's hard just to like throw everything and, uh, you know, <laughs> it, it's, it's been, it hasn't been really funded by anyone, let's put it this way. So. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, a follow up to that here. Um, 
I think we have 20 minutes, so time check there. Whenever, I don't know if you guys saw the, the video demo that, uh, that we did for uh, the, the first phase of the Eden OS development that we're doing for memberships. We ended up doing a, um, well, that demo that we recorded was us on the WAX testnet with WAX testnet accounts, right? We had all the, the resources that we need. Uh, we got a small group together a couple of days after that, actually early this week, and did our first test on the EOS mainnet. And um, I was really surprised because the uh, biggest problem with our tests wasn't actually the Eden OS software we were building, it was that fact that every time we tried to do a transaction, we were getting errors because we were running out of resources. And it, it was driving us crazy, right? And uh, I hadn't really used the, the power up tools uh, a whole lot before that. And so during our tests, I pulled up EOS Power Up Letter IO and uh, started working with that. And it took me a little while to understand that I needed to, to put my tokens in and then secondly, add my account to the watch list. So they actually get, I think you have to do both steps, but anyway. Maybe but that's for adv advanced uh, management, right? The, the, the free power up, you just type in your, pass, your uh, account name and just press power up and that's it. Yeah, for the free power up. But I, I needed a little bit more than the free power ups. Um, yeah. So anyway, my, my point is, I think that potentially resources is one of the most confusing aspects and one of the biggest blockers for users coming into the, the EOS ecosystem. Uh, where are you guys taking EOS Power Up a year from now? What does EOS Power Up look like? How does it operate? And what is your vision for solving that problem on EOS? Um, so the first, uh, I think the first step would be to actually create uh, a Telegram and Discord bot to try to get uh, all, of, all of the stuff which is uh, possible on the portal to actually do it through Telegram um, or Discord, but probably Telegram first and then Discord because I think most of the users on uh, EOS are actually using Telegram. Um, and then potentially uh, we might be uh, adding this, like maybe like a new account option, uh, something to try to uh, ease up the user onboarding. So it really like it really depends, right? So it really depends how much time we can uh, spare. If we have more funding, then obviously we can spare more time. If it's not funded, then it's just gonna be whenever we actually have some spare time. Uh, so yeah, that, that's about it. But I was I was thinking because like we really like uh, what uh, Kremas is doing, Anchor. Uh, wallet, maybe potentially could make uh, some sort of partnership to uh, maybe work together to ease up this, this user onboarding issue that EOS still has. Um, but this this needs to be a discussed, right? This is uh, this is like really uh, what John Heater originally uh, thought out like really fast because we we saw that there was an that there's gonna be an issue. And there's, there's another service that which was like really, there was only one service which was managing, allowing to manage resources, which was called Chintai. It's still up and running, but uh, we saw that there's this opportunity uh, in a way that we were forced into this position because we saw that Chintai is not gonna be 100% ready uh, for the US power up. So uh, that's why we actually done it uh, because, because we saw that that's gonna be an issue. So yeah. Great. So my my question would be, um, Max, yeah, why, why do you want this role? So it, it seems to me that Seth Seth has a very specific idea of what he wants to do with the the funds, and it seems to me that largely is about the funds to be building something useful on EOS. Excuse me if I'm wrong, but that seems largely to be why. Uh, what is your reason? Like, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah. My my vision is uh, all of people global, uh, global governance system. Uh, 
uh, America, China, uh, Europe, and and South Korea, all of uh, all of one one creek uh, governance system. Uh, I'm build and I'm building. I'm I'm vision and EOS IOS, EOS community system, uh, uh, EOS IO protocol, EOS IO uh, system in uh, all the people connected in uh, governance system in in EOS. Um, so are, are we talking about? So are we talking about like EOS DAC or? Backlify, like what, what do you mean exactly? Because like we personally use Dactify because it's I think it's more scalable than EOS DAC, and I know that Vigor has been using uh, EOS DAC like since the beginning almost. So what's your idea, uh, Max? So Sorry. No, I'm just asking because from what you're saying, I'm trying to uh, like figure out: is it uh, are you trying to raise funds for uh, for the Vigor project or for the multi-sync improvement, like the uh, like you use EOS DAC at the moment? Um, I know there's there's another platform which is called Daclify, which we use. Um, so like, what is like, what are you talking about exactly? Because I don't think I understand fully how you would uh, use the EOS. Uh, uh, figure, figure updating, uh, uh updating, uh, uh, EOS stack, uh, system, uh, micro and Micro and Andrew and other custodian updating uh, big duck governance system in EOS IO. In, in, in EOS. The next version of uh, duck system. Not old system. A new version of uh, governance duck system. Is it the new version on of EOS DAC uh, platform that you're talking about? Yeah. Like you want to implement the latest version of EOS DAC on the, on the Vigor platform? Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, looking yeah. For. yeah. Okay, I understand now. Yeah. Okay. Because Vigor was running on the, uh, from what I remember, EOS DAC, uh, uh, like the old version didn't support certain things and it was really hard to move to the new version. Uh, which needs a lot of resources like manpower hours. Uh, so that's why it would take some uh, money to actually pay for an upgrade to this, uh, to the to the DAC client in a way. Yeah, DAC client. Okay, I understand now. Yeah. Uh, but, uh... Uh, current uh, problem, uh, bigger need, uh, bigger need a uh, smart contract uh, don't need, don't need a uh, uh, CPU or a network, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm supporting uh, Oracle and uh, Kick Workboard, uh, so daily uh, need a uh, Custodians need a uh, resource, resource for EOS, power of EOS. Uh, each, each, each custodian need a uh, daily 1.5 or 2 EOS for faithful power. Uh, and other no problem. I mean, uh, EOS Power is amazing system. 
I famous uh I famous power resource. So my famous EOS is to Rex. So EOS staking users reward Rex system. Yeah. All right, I have a, a question I'll pose to both of you guys and you can answer briefly, please. What is the biggest problem facing EOS and the adoption of blockchain more widely today, starting with, uh, with Max? Uh, uh, new users, uh, new users, uh, don't don't have a uh, blockchain uh, technology. Uh, so, uh, uh, in uh, for example, I have not, I have, I don't know uh, blockchain. What's mean EOS? But uh, users can each access uh, EOS system, uh, EOS system, uh, use wallet, uh, 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 anchor or wombat. Uh, more easy, more easy system and UI, and users can access one correct system and recovery key system. So they they want payment for EOS, but uh, they uh, they need uh, more and more their EOS token keep keep asset, but current system is uh, difficult users access EOS, I think. All right, and Seth, same question. Um, I think uh, Dan Larimer said it really good, uh, which was, uh, that we need to stand on our feet as like the EOS community and step away from uh, B1. Like everyone was always looking at what B1 does or not doing. And that's why Eden OS uh, has been created, right? So I think that's the main thing. We just need to keep going and, and see where it leads to and not to look at uh, B1 anymore. But I'm talking about like the, the whole community, not just uh, I think there's some people who are waiting to see, oh, maybe bullish will go well, or maybe something else that B1 will do. But, you know, I think Eden OS, that's why it's the way to go. So, yeah. All right, thanks. Time check, we've got under six minutes. Any last questions from you, Noel? Um, I don't know whether it's a question, but I, I, I don't know whether standing the, the way you, you make it sound, it almost seems to be like a rejection of B1. I don't know, like, I, I think they 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 have a lot of talent. It's not, I can't say it's professionally run because I'm aware of a lot of blockchain companies and B1 is not the most professionally run in the industry. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's clearly a very competent organization um, or at least an acceptably competent organization. I think standing on your feet is not necessarily a rejection of block one. I think that cooperating with block one is the only way that EOS is going to become, uh, the word I would use is hegemonous. So like uh, industry dominating. Um, if you can't cooperate with the company designing your software in a very, you know, total way, that, that, that not just a matter of, com I mean, it, the worst that it could be is competing. You start competing with block one or saying, oh, we don't need block one. At that point, you know, you, you've lost the people designing your software. I think you have to take a far more diplomatic approach um, with block one, even if they're not the best a lot of the time <laughs> and they're not, but you know, they are the designers of the software. Um, I think the time for uh, diplomacy is over and we need to take over the development of EOSIO. 
like the EOS community can do it. I think there's, there's lots of talent. We can bring in more talent and we shouldn't be relying at all on B1, like zero. We shouldn't expect nothing from them. We should be building on our own the protocol. We should be like, you know, pushing it forward to the edges and, and trying to get uh, like connect all the chains together. Like there's a lot of talent on Telos, for example. Uh, there's, you know, you've got many, many uh, chains that use EOSIO already. And I'm sure that they, there's loads of improvements that can be done by that community alone and by not relying on B1 at all. Like we shouldn't be expecting anything from them. Does that's that my point of view. Fork? Well, that's, that's we... not, but, I'm, but I'm not saying not to like not to accept anything from them, but I'm just saying not to ex like to expect them to do anything. We, we need to take over. That's what I'm saying. All right, guys, three minute check here. We need to decide. Do we have a consensus? We need to vote. Um, uh, are we ready to vote? Uh, okay. I think so. How right. do we do that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we get to make it up. <laughs> so, um, Nwayo, beginning with you, uh, how, as of right now, where, where do you stand? Who are you voting for? I'm going to vote for Seth. Um, he's got a lot of exposure to a wide range of product projects. I don't necessarily agree with everything you're saying, but I'm, I'm going to go with Seth. All right. Seth. How are you voting? Who can I vote for myself? Yeah. All okay, right. so I vote for myself, yeah. Yeah, in fact, if you are to win, you must vote for yourself. Uh, Max, how are you voting? Uh, I'm board Seth. All right. And uh, my vote goes to Seth. So we have unanimous. Unanimity, I guess I should say. All right, great. Uh, under two minutes here, any closing Thank statements? You guys. Thank you guys. Uh, Thank you to both of you. EOS IO to the moon. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We're already out here. I feel like I'm kind of close to it. I'm in. Yeah, exactly. You too, Max. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah, yeah Max also is there. <laughs> cool. Well, guys, thank you. What a great opportunity to, I, I think this is historic, honestly. I, I hope that we look back and we see how Eden uh, and this fractal governance has changed, not just the EOS blockchain, not just blockchains, but society. And this is the seed of something really neat. So thank you guys have for everything you, you're doing for the community, all of you. Thank you. Thank you also. Have you all, have you all uh, read the uh, book uh, that Dan wrote? Uh, yes. It's, yeah, I, I thought it was really in, insightful. It's really interesting. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I agree. I think that book is historic, too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording because I don't know what happens if I get recalled into the room and my recording is still going. I don't know if it automatically stops or if it gets lost in the mix. So. I'm going to stop recording. Okay. Uh, I wonder if I'm recording it properly. I'm also going to stop now.